Hey guys, so course page is one of the vital elements in LearnDash and any, actually any type of LMS platform. And in LearnDash, like at first, I'm a little bit confused how that works. Like, should I use the course page as my sales page at the same time? So it's a bit confusing for me at first. That's why I decided to come up with this video because I want to show you the process, the right process in setting your course pages in LearnDash. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Without further ado, one, two, three. So when you start a course, your course pages, this course page shouldn't be your sales page. This is this part here can be only shown. I mean, let this course page um, reserve for the enrollees. Okay, so you need to have a page first for your sales page. So you need to have a page for your visitors. Okay, so let me just open that this part i think so i have this this one so this core section this master class the paid version i have a regular page for that let me just delete the paid name hold on okay Okay, so this course, this course has a another page version. So the page Ooh. version will act as your sales page. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing you. So under the sales page or your page section, you can really like put a lot of information. This is reserved for the visitors who haven't enrolled in the course yet okay so if i open this one in incognito mode okay you'll see that i have this enrolled now so i'm not seeing it, it here i mean i'm not seeing this button in here because i am already an enrollee in this course okay so this section this this all of these sections here are just a dv modules so you just need to come up a design for your sales page and then you need to link to your enroll button into your sales page so let me show you how the master class sales page look so as you can see here this is just an ordinary modules and under in this um hero banner i added a learn dash short code for the payments button now how you can link this payment button to your course so there is a short code here called learn dash underscore payment underscore button course id and then the number so in order for you to get this number simply go into your learn dash so learn dash courses and then click this part here edit section and this is your course id so you need to put that there in order for you to link this sales page to your master course okay so you already have a sales page for your visitors now let's say they enrolled to your course yeah so they click that button here actually let me just make this one zero dollar so you can really see how that looks if i can make that zero go into the settings so in order for you to remove change the price go to the core um, settings area and here i'm gonna make this one free for now so update let's go back to the website and then i'm gonna click this enroll now here 
it goes to the thank you page. Actually, let me just... I haven't changed the WordPress yet. So I, I, I'm going to change this one to 0. Point, let's make it $0.01. Because you need to have a different login for the free version. But let's discuss that on our next tutorial. So if I click in the enjoy now, it goes to this part. Let me log into my account. Okay, log in. And purchase. Okay, pay now. Okay. And then I'll go back here under this section. Click here. Congratulations. See here. Okay, so what happened there is a bit confusing because we set the PayPal return on this part of the Thank You page. So let me just open that and click this one here. So it goes in this thank you page. Now, what we should do is we need them to redirect to your my account section, this part. So my account section, because on the my account section, they can see the courses that they enrolled in. So supposed to be this one should be redirected to the my account section. Okay, again, in order for you to edit the thank you page, go to the Learn Dash, Settings, PayPal section, and then here, My Account. I used the My Account part. So you can also come up with your different thank you page if you want to, but I just prefer to have a My Account section. Now, we do have two options. I mean, we are selling courses at the same time, we are also selling ebooks. So we have a WooCommerce at the same time, Learn Dash. So under your My Account, you should be, if you do the same way like we do, like we have WooCommerce and we also have Learn Dash, you should put the short code for your WooCommerce, this one for your WooCommerce and for your Learn Dash profile. So this is the my account for WooCommerce and this is the profile for Learn Dash. So make sure you put these two short codes into your my account. Okay, so I'm going to update that. So when they go into the my accounts, they can see like what are the courses they enrolled in. Okay. So we will try to cover another tutorial on how we can make this merge and make it looks better. But for now, let's just focus on the courses. Okay, so let's just pretend that we changed the thank you page there because earlier it wasn't set right. So basically, after they purchase, they will go in this part and they will able to see what are the courses they, they enrolled in. So I'm going to click this one. So if they click this one, they can see also the progress on the courses. Okay. And I think this is the courses that we've purchased. Okay. So we click this masterclass section and they will be redirected to the course page. Now, this is the reason why I don't want to use the course page as my sales page because if they are an enrollee to the course, it will be a little bit confusing for them to see all the sales speech that we have on the sales page. That's why you need to come up with a different sales page for the visitors. So the course page should just be entitled for the enrollee. So always pretend that they already enrolled to the course. Now this section here is a little bit, I mean, I don't really like what I'm seeing right now. It is super dull, but what we're gonna do here is we can add some image. So 
think we can come up with like welcome to the course thank you for enrolling or something but let me just open a okay let me just use this one and add a 15px border for everybody okay update okay and we can add some further details in here like more explanation about the course like just thanking them for purchasing the course so you need to add some information like what they will able to learn so we might i'll try to add a text here i'm gonna change this one later but yeah let's just Let me just copy that and put it there. But you you need to add more information in here. Okay, I, I'm going to edit this part here. So it still looks bad for me. So we need to change this part here. So how we do that. So let's go to the settings if there is an option for us to. Let me rebrick this to $72. Okay, so the bad thing with this course page is it doesn't have an options for you to like edit this part, but we can use a CSS for that. So inspect elements. I'll try to create an article version for this. Please remind me on my video. So here we can do this part instead. Let's let's try not to use a, a CSS. So I'll try this part. So this one, let's make the sizes 700 pixel and make it 80%. Okay, update and let's update this. Refresh. Okay, it's still bad. So I'm we're done. I'm going to use a CSS for this part. Okay. Let me just remove this again. Okay, so let's inspect the elements. Inspect the elements. And this is a learn dash course, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to copy that. Actually, it's just a learn dash this one. I'll copy that part. I'm going to zoom this out so you can see it. So let's have a width of width of 700 pixel. And a max width of 80%. And let's make it a margin of zero point. Yeah. And actually, I want to add rear rim. I think this one. Do you think this one will looks good? Let's try to make it 1080px. Yeah. So I think this one looks better. So i will put that on the dv theme options and again if you are using child theme i highly suggest that you put it on the styled css okay put that there publish and that let's just remove that part that's not needed okay so this is the when they click this my account again let's review the process they will be redirected to the my account after they purchase if they go in in here if they click the courses they will see the overview of the course if they click this part here they will see all the details of the course actually let me revert it back so they can see all the details of the course and they can go back if they want to. 
so that's basically you can do and then under here as well on oh i need to fix that thank you so under here under the master class i would want to change this master class section into a grid format so only for the enrollee so what you need to do is you install a plugin called grid so yeah that's it for today so if you have any questions don't forget to comment down below